Welcome back to the workshop. It's time for taillight project. Now, if you missed the first taillight episode, this is what's left of the 1965 Mustang taillight. Kind of gross. It's not very bright. This was version one of my own homegrown LED taillight. A trailer taillight in a 3D printed housing with the original lens and cover. This was version two of the LED tail light. We're not even gonna talk about that. This little monstrosity is version three. So if you watch the first episode, you may know that this was my original goal to use an off the shelf LED as my light source. I still like the idea. And if you want to do this to your car, these files will be on Thingiverse by the time that this video is out. I'll put some information in the description. If I fail to do that, you can roast me in the comments. That's fine. I may have forgotten. Anyway, standard LED trailer tail light. I was going to look up what the brand is of this and it is here. Put it down here. Put it down here. Even the model number maybe. So the idea was this would mount on the inside of the car. And you'd be able to slide a standard light in there and you're done. Just wire up your pigtail. You're done. That's it. It's bright. It would work good. I decided I want amber turn signals. So that's where this ridiculousness comes from. We have amber lights, amber LED strip segments, white LED strip segments, and a lot of tiny wires. And you may be asking why didn't I use a custom PCB for this, you know, I may in the future, and if people really like this and really want this, maybe I could offer it for sale. It's going to be kind of a pain because I don't have experience in that area, so we'll have to see how that goes. But right now, my concern is these yellow LEDs are not quite bright enough for my taste. Uh, I can obviously add more, but there's just more wiring and more mess and... I don't know how well these adhesive back strips are going to stay attached to, well, in this case, this is PLA, PLA plus, and in the future, it's going to be either ABS or ASA. I don't have experience printing those yet, so we're going to have to wait and see how that goes. I like how you can wire this up however you want. You can have your amber turn signals opposing your brake lights. You can do sequential amber across. You can alternate between the red and the amber 
uh, you can alternate between two amber sources. Uh, it's lots of flexibility, and you could even get more ridiculous than this. Again, if I was if I was going to get more complicated than that, I would probably print a PCB and or have a print custom PCB made, populate it with diodes and a little bit of logic, and you could pick which pattern you want. You get pretty complicated with that if you know how to use uh, programmable logic. One of the things I talked about in the last video is this rattles a little bit when on the car. I added a raised edge around here, hopefully to combat that problem. And then I realized that these tail lights and a lot of other old classic vehicle tail lights use a tail light gasket. So where's my original one? This guy would sit in here, right? You put this in the car and your lens would sit on there and be pushed down by the bezel and compress that gasket just enough. That gasket does not work with these. It covers it. Yep, that would not work. So, I have to figure something else out. We're going to have to seal this somehow. It may be you finalize this. Well, this, my, this is my version. I'm okay with this. Finalize this and then run a bead of silicone around that raised edge and seat your lens on there and let it cure. Okay. I'd be okay with this because by the time you put the lens on and you squish it into the car and it's all mounted, it's probably not going to go anywhere. I'm not counting on driving this car in the rain, so it probably won't get water in it anyway, even if the silicone fails. But I don't know. We'll have to explore that more in the future. I definitely want to be able to light up these sections amber and keep the stock tail light look. I really like when you look at something that looks stock original and then you're surprised that it's not. Something special about it, right? Some things I learned in this process, I am out of practice when it comes to soldering. I do not like handling tiny little wires. And this took a lot more time to put the lights together than I thought. And it's not as bright as I thought. Dang. I want them bright. I am not convinced that those amber lights around the edge are daylight bright right when you like have your brake light on get your turn signal the sun's out people have their sunglasses on maybe you're in traffic i'm not convinced that those are bright enough yet so we're gonna have to step it up a notch so unfortunately this is still a work in progress for me for you you get to watch more videos on it in the future go ahead and subscribe and you get to see what happens with this in the future you get to see what happens with the whole car this is not the only light feature on the car that's going to be hidden. I want to put a third brake light in, and I don't want it really visible from the outside of the car until it's lit up. I also have some interesting ideas for the front turn signals and maybe some side marker lights that are hidden. So stay tuned. We'll see what we come up with. So just in case someone wants to try and copy me and make their own, and then produce them and sell them, at least send me a t-shirt, right? Anyway, thanks guys, it's been fun. We'll see you next time.